Hello guys, hope you have a good day. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're coming back, thank you for coming back and watching my video. And today I'm gonna tell you something about this new bomb. So this is a new fragrance that's been released uh, by FM um, last week. So around in September, uh, last, last two weeks in September. So um, I have smelled a sample of this one before. It's 501. It's golden edition, as you can see in this golden packaging. It's nice gold, lovely, beautiful gold packaging. And um, I have tested it and I loved it so much, I had to buy it. I actually had to buy two of them to make sure just in case they don't have it in stock because this is gonna sell fast so um, I'm gonna talk about this beauty uh, when I had the sample on and it was just a sample few people asked me if I'm wearing a rose picton for I was like oh my god they actually can smell it so uh, as you can uh, see it's inspired by a rose brick Tom Ford and they've done a very good job. I mean, the the crazy, crazy part is the notes in there are not even the same or even a close. Like if I read you notes of rose brick uh, from Tom Ford original and 501, you can see the number there, 501 there, it almost, it has nothing in common so that's the crazy part so whoever made this it's literally genius and i do have a rose brickton ford as well which is um original yeah so i was able to compare it as well and i did make a video um before in the previous video i will put the link there um and I love this fragrance. I absolutely love this fragrance. This scent is just gorgeous. And the only downs downside was basically performance of this. I absolutely adore this fragrance. It's just gorgeous. Um, just beautiful smell. Just heaven. Um, just the performance wasn't so good, basically. It didn't last too long, you had to spray too much to project basically to smell it, otherwise it's a skin scent. So let me... Actually, I'm not gonna spray this one yet, maybe later, <laughs> just to compare them, but I already compared them. Uh, I compared them on the paper strip and on the clothes and on the skin as well, so I can tell you now um, what's the differences. Uh, there is actually not many differences in my eyes in my opinion it's basically the same which is crazy it's absolutely crazy rose brick Tom Ford and pure royal golden edition 501 number 501 is literally just the same thing <laughs> Just the same thing, literally. <laughs> Just this is how crazy it is, and they don't even have the same notes, so <clears throat> that's a mystery for me. <laughs> no same notes, and you know, you can't uh, even say the difference. So I guess whilst uh, shall I open it first, or shall we talk about the notes first? Uh, yeah, I'll open it first. I'll open this now. It's all sealed and packed, yeah. So I'll open this now, so then I can, I can actually smell it and have refresh my memory, right? So, it's got this packaging as well, isn't it? Right? Look at this. Mmm, how gorgeous this packaging. Absolutely beautiful. So this comes in a gold. Um, packaging and here it says golden oh look at this golden edition over there uh, it's in collection p royal but also golden edition yet yeah, it's golden edition and wow look at this how beautiful this is 
absolutely beautiful packaging uh, wow so in my opinion this fragrance absolutely absolutely deserves to be in golden edition collection like okay so you can see you can see the number in there okay 501 okay and it's engraved in a pure in the glass it's engraved pure royal so yeah it's quite luxurious packaging it's beautiful shiny anyways let's get on with the fragrance <laughs> oh my god right immediately from the bottle yeah so yeah it comes in a bottle like this basically okay it's got quite yellow color actually in the glass um, the the liquid in there the juice juice see that it's engraved in a bottle so so i'm gonna smell this one from the bottle oh my god it's literally the same unbelievable right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna smell both from the bottle now i'm gonna smell this 501 and tom ford rose brick <laughs> They're literally same. They're literally same. Right, so I'm gonna spray um, 501 Golden Edition Pure Royal FM on there. Let's see the atomizer. Nice. Mm, this is so good. This is so good. And I'm gonna spray also. I'm gonna spray also a sprick on this arm. The atomizer is slightly different, isn't it? Mm. Both are beautiful, absolutely gorgeous scents. So those two, yeah, I'm gonna compare those two. Okay, so. I'm gonna tell you first now. So as you know, um, this one, yeah, Rose Brick has got uh, turmeric in it and Pechuan pepper. I think it's called like this. Uh, and then uh, three kind of roses: Turkish rose, May rose, and Bulgarian rose. And then patchouli and tonka bean. I think I'll put, I'll, I'll put the note in there as well. And this this one uh, 501 golden edition pure oil it's got i'm gonna actually read the notes because it's so many of them it's raspberry grapefruit plum black currant davane pink pepper that's in the head then in hard notes we've got cypress hawthorn rose lily of the valley tagetes chamomile geranium and in base We've got vanilla, cedar, benzoin, orcanox, chocolate, patchouli, civet, amber, cypriol, gourmand, musk, santamanol, labdanum. So all these notes are actually in this golden edition 501. So as you can see, the note that I don't know, there is probably like one note in there that's in common, or maybe two uh, patchouli rose, but all the rest is actually different <laughs> so as you can see those two have almost nothing in common with the notes but the scent is absolutely similar if not the same that's what's crazy about this so as i said when i was wearing this just like a sample three people asked me if i'm wearing gross brick tom ford <laughs> this is how crazy it is so um right now what i thought when i was wearing this um the difference actually is 501 federico mahora golden edition actually project pro projects better and siage is better that's the difference another difference which is good difference which is good difference because as i said in my previous video uh, about Rose Brickton Ford, uh, I was disappointed with um, 
performance of Rose Prick. It just doesn't project so much, so well, and longevity is not so good. So yeah, I gave this one uh, in my video 6 out of 10 for longevity and projection. And I would give this one about 8 out of 10 for longevity and projection. It just, yeah, performance is actually better in this one. Another difference is a money. You save literally 200 pounds on this one if you buy this one. If you buy this one, this is like 240 pounds. This is about 34 pounds. So that's another difference. You get much better uh, value for the money in this one. And it's just exactly the same scent or almost exactly the same, like literally. The, the other difference in uh, scent, I think, would be Maybe this one is slightly tiny, 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 almost literally none, but like tiny bit, maybe a bit more rosy. Yeah, that's that's probably just very tiny difference. Both are quite um, spicy, like very warm spicy, and they have not sharp rose in them, not sharp, and I like that. Because I like like soft roses. This is the only fragrances I can wear with the rose. Other rose fragrances they kind of irritate me. It doesn't irritate me on other people, but it irritates me if I wear it. So uh, these kind of roses, they are beautifully blended. They are very smooth blended, very smooth. They are very soft, smooth roses with the hint of spices, or you know, like a pinch of spices. But it's just so beautiful. These are just so beautiful. Oh, it's amazing, guys. They've done, I mean, Tom Ford, hands down, he knows what he's doing. But I didn't know. In FM, they've got some genius who can make this as well. Because this is like, honestly, hands down, wow. This is like, this makes me melt. This is heavenly, absolutely divine scent. So, I. I'm just like, I was so happy, I was so amazed, like when I smell this, mm. it's so nice, it's so nice, this is so gorgeous, absolutely beautiful, I love this scent so much, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make it my, my signature scent, this one, I think, <laughs> it's very versatile scent, it's like, literally for any season, for, honestly, for summer, for winter, for spring, even autumn, and evening, uh, daytime, literally for any occasion. It's very sensual as well, you know, rose make it quite sensual. So it's very sensual and, you know, like, you know, come to me, guy, you know, attract me, you know, very, very nice, attractive, sensual scent and non-offensive, it's not in your face, just gorgeous. So, um, with this fragrance, you can never go wrong, I think. This is literally great, like, present. Oh, and the packaging in this one. Let's talk about this one now, like, literally just this one. The packaging in this one is literally amazing for presents. Like, look at that. Like, absolutely amazing. So, um, this, I, I, can, I can literally, like, really give this fragrance 10 out of 10 like literally 10 out of 10 for this like literally it's so good it's just amazing like it's it's beautiful it's long-lasting it's very versatile it's yeah any any woman can pull it off like I said between maybe yeah young woman older woman this is just perfect for any occasion any person oh yeah another question would it be for a guy actually it would be for a guy too because this is actually unisex so this is unisex fragrance yeah um, but I think it's it leans more to feminine side so uh, I think I would prefer it on woman but even if guy wears it he can pull it off easily yeah you can put pink shirt on <laughs> or whatever and uh, no it's just really good even on a man it's quite f is it fresh mm. 
it's a mixture of everything. It's fresh, spicy, uh, rosy, you know, like floral. It's it's not zesty or anything like this. No, no. Um, but it is like uh, it's it's not in your face. It's not offensive. It's it's just like absolutely. 10 out of 10 really <laughs> gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so this was literally released about one two weeks ago so i got my hands on it i couldn't wait so it's brand new edition brand new release from federico mahora and i highly recommend this one so you can save loads of money for you guys who can't afford tom, uh, tom ford rose prick and you really love this fragrance this is perfect option, like I can highly recommend this one. I just love it. I love it. I love it so much. Literally, it's so good. There you go. And you don't have to worry about spraying too much because it's a really good price. So it's it's good value for the money this is perfect like now i can spray as much as i want literally this one i was like mm, saving it only for special occasions which didn't happen very much last year as we all know so uh almost never wear it you know i like, almost never worn it because um yeah you don't want to wear it just around the house or just on a daily basis because it's just too much money so you don't want to waste you're not gonna waste it, but you don't wanna just spend all your money just on daily basis, do you? So with this one, I can just spray as much as I want and I'm not gonna think like, oh my god, I'm, I used so much money on this one, yeah? So you're not gonna think that with this one. So um, that's a solution, guys. Perfect. So yeah, guys, so if you want the, um, to know about this more or something, just put the comments in, um, in the box uh, below then uh, ask me questions if you have any I'll put some uh, uh, details in a description box as well if you wanna have a look or if you fancy to buy some or whatever um, yeah so I think that's, uh, that's about it that I can say about this fragrance thank you very much for watching guys I hope I uh, made your life easier as well 